everyone, welcome back to Sydney and Starley, and if you are new here, welcome. Welcome, enjoy the here we videos. So today, me and Sydney are going to be reading a little golden book, Disney, The Little Mermaid. So let's begin. Ariel was a bright and curious mermaid. The only thing she loved more than her family was the human world. But her father, King Triton, warned her never to swim to the surface. He believed that all human beings were dangerous. But Ariel couldn't keep herself from wondering about the world above. So she and her friend Flounder explored shipwreck coves looking for gadgets and gizmos from the surface. When Ariel arrived home one day, King Triant was angry with her. This obsession with humans has to stop, he said. But Ariel didn't think that any group of people on land or in sea could be all good or all bad. Disobeying her father, Ariel swam to the surface and saw Prince Eric. He stood on a great ship sailing the open sea. Ariel felt a connection with him. Suddenly, a fire started on the ship. Eric sprang into action. He got all the sailors and his faithful dog, Max, out of harm's way, but he couldn't keep himself from getting hurt. In the nick of time, Ariel saved him. After carrying Eric to shore, Ariel sank until she heard people coming to find the prince. Before Eric could fully open his eyes, Ariel rushed away. He vowed to find the person with the beautiful voice who had saved his life. Back at home, Ariel, ha Ariel helped her sisters clean up the wreckage from the storm. There was terrible damage to the coral, and her family blamed the humans. We're not all the same, so why should humans be? Ariel said. Still, King Triton believed that humans had no respect for the ocean. Ariel swam away to her grotto. grotto. Later, her father found her. When King Triton saw Ariel with the statue of a Prince Eric that she had taken from the wreckage, he lost his temper and destroyed the grotto. Ariel was heartbroken. Ursula, the sea witch, had been watching Ariel for some time. With the help of her slimy sidekicks, Flotsam and Jetsam, Ursula lured Ariel into her lair. I can't bear to see you suffer like this. And as it so happens, I can help you, Ursula said. Ursula told Ariel that she could become human and be with Prince Eric. The only catch was that Ariel needed to get true love's kiss before the sun set on the third day where she belonged to Ursula forever. To seal the deal, Ariel traded her beautiful voice for legs. After Ariel's transformation, she swam to the surface. She was scared but excited to explore the human world. A fisherman helped Ariel get to shore and took her, her to a kind woman named Lashana. The head of house, the head of household for the island's castle. Once Ariel was cleaned up, Lashana introduced her to Eric. Eric and Ariel bonded over their love of traveling the world and visiting new places. Eric told Ariel that she, Eric told Ariel that he would give her a tour of the kingdom, forgetting about his quest to find the girl with the beautiful voice who had saved him. If only he knew that he was already talking to her. Even without a voice, Ariel and Eric got to know each other as they explored the island. Ariel's friends, Sebastian, Flounder, and Scuttle, guided Eric and Ariel to a romantic lagoon so they could share true love's kiss and break the spell. The sea creatures set the mood and Ariel almost kissed Eric, but Ursula's minions flipped their boat and fell into the water. The moment was ruined, but Sebastian and Flounder were hopeful that Ariel and Eric would kiss before sunset the next day. However, Ursula had other plans. 
The next morning, Ariel woke to discover that Eric was engaged to be married to someone else. Someone with her voice. Ursula was pretending to be a human named Vanessa. She had put Ariel's voice into a necklace to use for herself. She needed to be stopped. With the help of her friends, Ariel broke Ursula's necklace and got her voice back. It was, it was you all along, said Eric. But just before they could kiss, the sun set. It was too late. Ariel became a mermaid again, and she belonged to Ursula. When all hope seemed lost, King Triton arrived. Desperate to help his daughter, he asked to take Ariel's place. Ursula was thrilled. King Triton lost all his power. Using the kings as mighty Triton, Ursula created a violent storm. Ariel refused to give up. Suddenly, a wrecked ship floated to the surface in the storm. Ariel climbed aboard. Ariel navigated the churring waves and crashed into Ursula. Thanks to Ariel's bravery, 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 the curse was broken. Afterwards, Eric swam to shore. Ariel took back King Triton's trident and restored her father to power. King Triton now understood that not all humans were bad and that Ariel deserved to be happy. He used his trident to turn Ariel into a human. Elated, she swam to the beach and reunited with Eric. Ariel and Eric were excited to explore uncharted waters together with the help of both humans and merpeople. Everyone united in harmony. The Earth. The end. So that is it for today, everyone. I really hope you all enjoyed it, and we'll see you all next time. Bye bye. -bye. Bye bye. Pick out your favorite page. Who's your favorite character? Zoya. Ursula. Wow. Okay. Bye-bye.